okay so basically this is lecture number 8 now here we'll see uh, another type of examples again it is dfnf or finite automata okay so the set of all strings is w is nothing but the set of strings okay which belongs to inputs a and b so any string which belongs to a and b uh, if it is mod by 2 so remainder should be 0 means the strings of length 0 or 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 okay that time only you will get if mod by 2 then only you will get 0 so any uh, string of length 0 uh, mod 2 you will get the remainder 0 okay if it is mod if the string of length 2 if you mod by 2 then you will get the remainder 0 if or if the string of length 4 6 8 9 and sorry 10 and so on so mod 2 means basically if if you uh, mod it by 2 so if if you are getting the remainder 0 then it means Uh, the string is divisible by 2 okay so you will have a string of length uh, epsilon then 2 then 4 and 6 and so on so uh, see i'll tell you uh, one more technique here it's simple if anything mod by any number so if it is mod by 2 you will have only two remainders either 0 or 1 other than that you will not have any remainder if any string divis- divide by 2 of any length so you will have only two remainders 0 and 1 so means you will have only two states let's say p and q okay so this is of length 0 and this is of length 1 correct 0 length 1 length okay so let's say it is a and b okay now it should accept epsilon so initial state will be final okay now it should accept of length 2 so see 1 and then if i give one more here then it is 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay why i have given ab here you can ask me okay so simple question here i am getting remainder 0 and what i required i required the remainder 0 only so here i am getting remainder 0 that's why i have given here right now let's move to second second example mod 2 is equals to 1 means the remainder should be 1 okay it is divisible by 2 only if it is divisible by 2 i have only two remainder 0 and 1 means i'll i'll have only two states so first is p and second is q correct now this is for remainder 0 and this is for remainder 1 now i require remainder 1 means this will be my final state right right now this is 0 2 4 6 8 this is 1 3 5 7 now how you will say see if i give this is a and b so it is accepting 1 now if if i give a b here so now it is accept it is 2 then 3 correct then 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so now it is accepting odd numbers correct if if i if i say uh, mod 3 is equals to 0 correct so if it is divided by 3 means the remainder you will have 3 0 1 or 2 you will have three remainder so you will have 0 1 and correct so uh, this three remainders you will have okay this is with remainder 0 this is with remainder 1 and this is with remainder 2 so if i say it is ab it is ab now where will be the ab is if if i give ab from here so that will be of length 3 correct and length 3 should be accepted i required 0 that's why i put this one as final let p q and r why it is fine because i required remainder 0 so state with 0 will be final state okay now if i required uh, all the strings with uh, length 3 should be accepted to so see it is 1 2 and third if i required a third length string so that should give a remainder 0 so remainder 0 is here so then it will come here see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay if i have uh, mod 3 is equals to 1 okay so means three states okay this is ab this is ab okay let's say this is p q and r now this is for zero remainder 1 remainder 2 okay now i required a uh, mod 3 the remainder should be 1 so the remainder should be 1 correct so now from here i have ab here i have ab so remainder one state is final state now where will be the ab of this okay so ab of this will go 
see if I give here so it is 1 2 3 so remainder should be 0 at third the remainder always should be 0 okay so see see here the string length is 2 after that if I give a b the string length should be 3 so 3 divided by 3 0 so it should go to the length 0 after that the string length will be 4 so I'll get the remainder 1 means 3 4 will be here okay if I give 5 so remainder should be 2 so 5 will be here so it is 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so basic structure will be this one the all transaction will be same okay whether if it is divided by 3 0 1 2 okay everything will be same let's say it is p q and r here you will have a b here you will have a b and this a b will be here everything will be same only difference is if it is mod 0 this will be final if it is mod 1 this will be final if it is mod 2 this will be final okay so you will make this one as final step simple if, if you have this kind of example always remember if, if it is mod 2 you will have two states if it is mod 3 you will have three states with 0 1 and 2 if it is mod 4 you will have four states okay thank you